What's good, what's good? Hope you enjoyed that little <laughs> intro. I just play whatever my fingers tend to want to do at the time. Um, but, so yeah, the album is is coming. It, it's, it's, it's out and, it, you know, I have mixed feelings about it because it was supposed to be out, you know, early last year. But... You know, it, it's it's out. It's coming out now. Um, it'll be out July 30th, uh, and the vinyl will be out uh, August uh, 20th. And uh, it means a lot. It means a whole whole lot. This is my first uh, industry released uh, release of. A collection of songs you know it's the first album where I've you know I worked with a producer it was Tony Berg uh, really great human being and just absolutely brilliant man incredibly inspiring incredibly inspiring and you know I work with a co-writer for some of the songs on the album, maybe most of them, like, no, I don't know. I, I think maybe it was most like seven or eight of the songs on the album. Because, you know, it, that's kind of a brilliant part of working, especially with an, with an older producer who's, you know, knowledge about that stuff is further beyond yours, you know, and especially dealing with the whole market and, thinking about the business, thinking about the flow of the record. So I had to write a bunch of new songs, like, you know, fast. So, you know, music, like, I I, I poop out music. It's just, it's nothing to me to create stuff. I could literally just, just press record and something comes out, kind of like that intro, just something comes out, you know, and... and so that part's easy to come up with chordal structure and all that stuff and melodies, but words, sitting down and writing words, you know, when the pressure is on, that, that's where it gets kind of hard for me. So I, you know, I, I sought out, I, you know, and, and my good friend Summer Sweet Sai, she, she, um, she reached out to a friend of hers. Uh, autumn and you know we hit it off really well and she wrote uh with me we it was a very just chill process you know we wanted to like she came she came over to my apartment you know at times when I wasn't in, on tour and we sat I sat with you know my computer and my whole kind of recording setup and we talked about you know, just different stuff that's on my mind, and you know, we we when something just really clicked, you know, I would sit there noodle on guitar, like you know, just whatever, and then it'd be like, okay, that's the vibe, and hit record, and then start recording melodies. Just a really organic process in writing you know, things lyrically as far as all the the new songs that are coming out. Um, and I think it turned out really well. I think that, you know, also, it, you know, it helped. I, I was, you know, having, on a different note, having a, a, a black woman who, you know, grew up with some, you know, s you know stuff, you know, it, I think having that, help me express if I had wrote it with you know a dude you know a white white guy or whatever it, you know they wouldn't really understand some of the things 
that I, I grew up with the struggles as much, you know, struggling with, you know, you know, father issues and, and all that stuff that I had to deal with growing up. Like, most people, they would have empathy, but they wouldn't really emotionally understand it. So I think that whole process of being in the same room with someone who, you know, they've been through some things that, you know, parallel to some of the things that you went through and, you know, being able to have that person pull some things out of you and maybe interpret some of the things from you in, in, a, in a different way, in a, in a more lyrical fashion, that, that, that really helped a lot. So that that was a great part of the process. And then, you know, this is, so this is the first you know, album where I, I really got the opportunity to work with other people, you know, on, on, on a high level, because I won't work with anybody if they're not on my level or higher in a specific aspect. I mean, it doesn't mean as a musician, because that's my role. If, you know, like writing lyrics, if, you know, I want to write with someone who's just, you know, they're, they're good with words, they're good with all that stuff, you know, and, and they know what's up, you know, because I'm very good with words, but under pressure, like, words can be hard to come by sometimes. Um, so that, that really helped. Um, and then, you know, Tony Berg, you know, he really helped me. He helped me, you know, define things more clearly uh, and, and to sort of broaden things uh, sonically. Because my problem is, is I get in my own way. I, I'm very heady. I'm very heady. And I defeat myself where, like, I... I I really, I literally just want to play guitar and play with drum, a drummer and a bass player and that's it. Like I, sometimes I don't want to have to worry about this and that. Although I'm naturally good at finding the right timbres and stacking things up, you know, because of in my earlier years, I was doing a whole lot of, you know, heavier production stuff. And then I got to a point where I just really love simplicity of just having a guitar and just playing guitar just, just sitting there and playing guitar uh, and you know playing with a drummer and just locking in you know you know the parts and listening to the placement pulling back pushing forward just just really zoning in and locking in i like i and you can fill up so much space with just the simplest, you know, setup. And but at the same time, I love all of this. I love using uh, samples and and different synthesizers and and all that stuff. So that's part of me, and, and I understand that stuff really well. I, I've always been kind of naturally good at. at building stuff in that way but there's the integrity part where I'm just like but but I want to be able to play all this just you know with a simple setup you know I, I don't all this production what if nobody thinks I'm actually playing this what if they think I just programmed this so I, I deal with that stuff in my head I'm like man what if you know what if people think that it's just like oh he, he did this and like you know it and to me, I know that, like, I literally, when we sketched out all this stuff, I I actually played all the instruments manually, played keys manually, played drums manually, all of it. Actually, one of the songs, we left my drum beat in there, but it's, like, in my head, I, I want everybody to know, like, yeah, I'm doing this for real. I, this, is, this isn't MIDI stuff. Uh, so... You know, I, I struggle with that battle of in, integrity and, and style and, and 
different stuff constantly but you know Tony sort of really helped me think about the bigger picture actually fight be able to fight myself in you know the simplicity and just like you know it, there's a thing to all these bigger sounds you know it, so that that really helped me break out of that out of my my own personal prison that I put myself in as an artist and you know I'm sure some of you struggle with that as well but um you know also we had some different players we have a had a Brown's just he plays with Michelle and David Cello if you know Michelle and David Cello you you should know who she is especially you know listening to my music you definitely know who she is look her up if you haven't um he plays with a bunch of different people super great drummer like I'm surprised this dude doesn't have like a whole bunch of followers and stuff on social media because he's so good that just his feel his touch he doesn't play too loud you know he knows where to play you know, as far as tones on the drums, you know, how to lay it back, how to push it forward in the right spots. Dude's a genius, A. Browns. Look him up. Genius. Um, you know, and Ethan Gerska, he does this, a lot of stuff with um, Leanne LaHavis, and he's done some stuff, some stuff on Phoebe Bridges' records. Another really brilliant guy. He's really brilliant with sounds and 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 uh, synths and stuff. A lot of filler stuff. He's really good with that stuff. Um, you know, uh, who else? So many people. Um, why did I just forget his name? It'll it'll come to me. It'll come to me. I should not forget his name because. Yeah, but I'll remember it later. But so many good musicians, you know, came in and and put added to, you know, the my my outline of everything. And you know, of course, I did you know guitar stuff, all, all the guitar stuff, except for like some slide on water. Uh, that Mason Stoops was just kind of hanging out and was just like, you know, you feel like messing with some slide? I mean, I, I could have done it. Somebody said something, a friend of mine said, you could have done that. I'm like, but I wouldn't have came up with that idea. And just because I could do it doesn't mean, you know, I would have came up with that idea of doing that one little note in the right place. It, it, you know, it, people are different and people have different, you know, musical influences live different lives so you know people were worth acknowledging for their ideas because those ideas make a big difference um but outside of that so so many people uh came and 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 really added to that and this is the first time in you know in my life that i've ever completed something where different people have added, you know, their ingredients to things. And also, J.C. Uh, Joel Clark, he he, he uh, plays with me live. He he added some stuff, and I was super happy to have you know the drummer who plays with me live to do some of the songs. He, Larry Goldings, yeah, uh, played keys. He he's played with uh, a lot of people, um, but internet people you probably might know him from some of the scary pockets jams that he's been a part of um but so many great people so many you know legend people legendary people uh, you know have been a part of the process of this album and i'm extremely excited to share that with you um and you know, I'm not like as a you know, as an artist, I, I'm kind of already past that process because it's just like let's artist to artist, like we 
we're always creating and if you're not always creating you should be it, it it's just you know after a whole two years since you've made the album almost it's it's like i've already have a whole bunch of new songs already set up they don't all have lyrics i i have to sit down i tend to make that a separate process uh, I, t- I notice I'd, I'll f- I tend to find melodies a lot more clear if I just do, you know, if it's just instrumental guitar, maybe some drums, maybe mess around with some production stuff and then just leave it for, you know, several weeks at a time, maybe a whole month, maybe just a week, and then write to it. I, I notice I can look at it objectively and think of just the lyrics in a fresh perspective and then I'll you know learn everything that I did um how that's that's how our vocals tend to sometimes do something different than what the guitar is doing because I, I just make them separate things and then bring them back together but I think that's enough of a rant for this video um plan on making it a series up until up until the vinyl comes out just doing daily rants about music stuff and some of my life stuff and uh all that good stuff so i hope you enjoyed this little rant i'll do them live if the engagement starts picking up on these videos like i want to get some likes so please like this video and subscribe if I get enough likes then I'll start doing these conversations live where you can ask me questions and you know all that good stuff but I gotta get the engagement up on these posts so comment you know any questions you want to ask me comment on the video you know you know click the bell for notifications for stuff I, I don't spam I, I just post what what's relevant to you know it's not a bunch of stuff so yeah thank you for watching and i will